uh, okay, I, I give in. Like, it's Sony wins. The game has completely changed. This is a really interesting combination. Definitely unexpected. I've got the ZV-E1, and it just got this update five times and 10 times slow motion. 120 frames per second in 4K, incredible. And something that a lot of people say just isn't good enough, isn't sharp enough, and that's 240 frames in HD. And as someone who absolutely loves wildlife and macro and has this kind of affinity to bees and ladybugs, really the beautiful insects, not the worms, <laughs> but the colorful, springtime and summertime bees and butterflies wow and the reason that is is because we've got the new sony ai chip and this ai chip really adds all kinds of features and functionality and really improves the autofocus in fact there's autofocus in this camera in the newer a7r5 that hasn't been in any camera yet and that is insect autofocus so hopefully you can kind of see where i'm going now on the end of the camera here i've got the 90 millimeter macro sony lens which happens to be autofocus and for a long time when we talk about macro photography literally just a year ago you would see some of the biggest youtubers and photographers i would read articles and it's always about manual focus and i still think that is the case but now again sony just changed the game i just took a few clips of a bee with autofocus in 240 frames per second and this is the result now honestly i don't know how the quality of this particular clip the sun is way above me it's not really the ideal time but i'll also say when you're filming in super slow motion those kind of rules seem to go away because you're so zoomed in it's just a different kind of a look. I also was able to capture some footage of a damselfly. That was really cool. I haven't done any macro photos yet. We'll see if I do. I, I really want to test out the autofocus of this new Sony ZV-E1 and particularly the new, the new chip, the AI chip, insect autofocus. And this really has me thinking about like, what is Sony going to come out with with the A6700? That camera probably going to have the new chip in it and it's going to really open up a lot of possibilities for video creators for photographers and what about the new a9 that's coming out the a9 III I'm excited for the possibility of this new autofocus new video frame rates and I just wanted to share some of these uh, results with you today incredible you know real quick I'm Brian this is one perfect shot the idea is that it's so challenging right to strive for perfection but along the way we'll arrive at excellence Vince Lombardi if you're into photography or video consider subscribing you know if you're a creator think about some of the possibilities with these newer cameras if you're into vlogging content creation it's never been easier to take an amazing close up I'm seeing a lizard just kind of crawl across a little probably a little gecko we have those here in Colorado I wanted to mention how to really set up the ZV-E1 to really nail these kinds of difficult shots. The focus peaking really happens. If you're focusing on something close, the screen is a little dark. I like to use the white setting, so focus peaking on and then the color white. I like to use focus peaking set at high. This way you can really tell when your subject is in focus fantastic what creative ideas do you have for slow motion what kind of clips should i consider taking would love to get your feedback on that another tip is have touch to track enabled if you're using really any touch screen sony camera you want to touch on the insect you want to touch on the bird or the animal and really track it that's going to give you really the coolest looking footage another thing that's really fantastic is just to sit down and find some great flowers I love that these flowers are flat. I can get a really great shot. That's a tip you don't want to miss.